Hello everyone, my name is Mustaine in Jersey and welcome to Space Engineers. Now in this video we're going to be doing a first look at Space Engineers for my channel. Uh, this is a game that a lot of you have been recommending and saying that I should definitely check out. So in this video we're going to be starting a brand new survival game. Uh, I'm kind of going to be doing survival just to learn how the game works. Uh, as it, This is completely brand new to me. I played roughly around three hours uh, just going through a couple of tutorial videos and learning how the game kind of works. But yeah, I'm going to be learning as we go through the series. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get quite far and yeah, I'm going to be a complete noob playing uh, Space Engineers. So it should be quite fun and also entertaining to watch. With that said, uh, let's go ahead and let's get started with a brand new survival series. Alright, so we're going to be starting a brand new custom game today. We're going to be going and choosing a star system uh, and we're going to be keeping it in survival here. So as we go throughout, we're going to be building our base, building our ships, hopefully, uh, and also learning about the game as we go on. Alright, so now we need to go and choose a drop pod. Now, because we chose a star system, I'm going to go with an Earth-like drop pod uh, and then we're going to go and spawn in here. You can choose different ones. Uh, I haven't tried any of the other ones. Uh, this is the first time. Okay, so coming into the world here. Now we can go into third person, which is V. Uh, this looks like a pretty decent-ish spawn, I think. I mean, it looks like we're in type of valley here. I don't see any water, which might be an issue. But uh, it looks all right. It's quite flat, quite nice. I guess we've got mountains behind us there. And everything looks pretty good. Hopefully we will land quite nice and flat. Right, so we're there, uh, we can jump out our ship, and here we are. <laughs> All right, nice. Uh, let's now, because we're on Earth, we can open up our visor. And also go into the first person. Nice. All right. Uh, now we've got a couple things on our ship. We've got the battery pack. We've also got the survival kit, and I think we've got a hydrogen. If I'm correct, yeah, this is O2 H2 generator. Now the first thing we're going to do is, I don't know if we're going to be jetpacking around or not. So I don't know if I want to ground the hydrogen bottle out of there. I think the first thing I want to do is get some electricity. Now, to get electricity going, I'll need some resources. So we're going to drill. So let's go and, I mean, we're probably going to drill like right here and go straight down. Now, uh, if we drill on the top, we'll get some we'll get some stuff, but it's not going to be that great. So we probably want to drill further down. So I'm going to go control and I'm just going to right click and that will ideally make a little bit of a tunnel. And then it's actually not giving us any resources right now. We're going to do that and we're going to go down and see if we can get some rock or at least get down to some rock here. So let's keep on going down. We're trying to look for the gray rock. Ideally, that's what we're looking for right now. So we could actually mine the stuff here that we currently are breaking and you can see I'm kind of making a little tunnel for myself. Uh, here that I can actually walk through it. I mean, it's quite steep, but it's all right. We could probably mine this stuff, but I mean, it's not giving us much stone, is it? Oh, we could also get some lights on, which is L. There we go. Let's mine some of this. I mean, it's giving us 280, 300, 280, which is not, okay, it's not bad, I don't think. I, 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 once again, I'm very limited knowledge of this game so far. Complete noob here. Alright, let's just get a whole bunch of rocks and things and then what we'll do is we'll then take it back to our survival kit and we'll start processing it and try to get some resources. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I mean, there's quite a lot of rocks here. I don't think I'll fit any of this in my bag, but let's try. Okay, now it's full. So, I mean, let's go back to our hand. Let's get our light off and let's go back to here. Survival kit, which is over here. Cool, and we're going to open up uh, eyes for inventory. We're going to throw our rock in there, go over to production, and we're going to now produce our ingots. So, I mean, let's just produce a whole bunch of that, and that will just carry on going through. And we can just keep on giving it more and more stone. You can see producing everything we need here, nickel, silicone, iron, and gravel also. Cool, so that's producing. And now let's see what we're actually going to need. So we're going to need to build a little bit of a structure, and we'll need some steel plates for that. Okay, that's fine. We can get steel plates. Are we also going to need, I think we're going to need an assembler. So that's also steel plates, uh, refinery, steel plates, and wind turbine. Uh, oh, can we can do, we could do solar panel, but there is a day night cycle in this game. So, I mean, it's probably better to do a wind turbine. 
So maybe a wind turbine, let's go with that. We will need a bunch of steel plates, so I'm gonna start queuing up a whole bunch. So let's go over production here and let's do what, 100? That's probably, yeah, I mean 100 should be all right. Let's do 100 of those steel plates and while that's going, I'm gonna go mine some more, I think. Well, actually I've already mined, I can just come grab all those resources, can't I? Nice and easy, see? So it's actually quite nice to go and mine a bit uh, and then just keep running back and forth. Now, ideally, we will get our we will get a ship that will mine for us, or we can use to mine. It'll be much quicker instead of us running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all the time. But I mean, we're st still the beginning of the survival, so I mean, we have to do things quite slowly, unfortunately. Okay, we've got a couple of steel plates now, so I'm gonna go and start building a little bit of platform. So base, why well, not just go here? Let's build a little bit of a, a little bit of a base, joining those together just something like that and we have a little base now we can scroll through this to get different pieces and we can rotate that if I'm correct using up and down and stuff so there we go so I've got a little ramp to come up into my little base that I have so far uh, let's go and build let's see maybe we should build a little bit of like a tower and we can put the wind turbine on top this is a light armor block there we go uh, X for jetpack yes space bar to go up so I can build Okay, I got no more steel blocks. <laughs> okay, so that, that's going to be it. Uh, we're going to have to go and grab some more steel blocks from here. Let's go inside. Uh, or steel plates at least. Stone we can drop off. We've got 11 steel plates. And let's go and put the wind turbine down. Now, can I... Oh, I need interior plates for that, actually. So let's just go back here. And let's go and tell it that I would like some interior plates. I'm going to cancel the steel plate production. And interior plates... No, I don't need 100, please. Uh, control, yes, 10. 10 interior blades, that should be fine. Let's go and grab the rest of the rocks and things I have down here. All right, so we're gonna put that inside, not that one, into our survival kit. Throw those rocks in, we've got some interior plates already there. Everything else is still producing. Now, because we put like a thousand of these gravel things or ingots here, it's just continuously just producing that. We could move that forward and tell it to prioritize the interior plates before it does the gravel. That way we'll have the interior plates first. I think it might be a better idea. There we go. Interior plates, let's build our wind turbine. We need more pieces, of course, but uh, just to start it off, this should be all right. There we go. Now, I think the higher you build that, the better the production is for it. Uh, I mean, that should be all right. Uh, maybe, maybe we should build it one less. Okay, that's to build it. How do I... Two is to grind it. Okay. Can I maybe build a couple more blocks to make it a little bit higher? And then seven. There we go. And now I want to build it, which is that. Okay, I need motors. How many motors do I need? Eight motors. All right. Let's go and grab some motors. So here's our survival kit. Go here, how many motors? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, so that's producing. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, my hydrogen level's low, so let's grab some hydrogen. There we go, hydrogen bottle, grab that. That means we can refuel our jetpack. All right, um, what else do we need? Construction, I will need 20, and girder, 24. Okay, let's go and Stop putting that on. So 24 of these. So let's do one, two, three, four. And we'll need the construction comp 20 of those. So one, two. All right. Okay, so while that's working, I'm gonna come grab some more stone or gravel, whatever it is down here. Considering I've got a, quite a bit still down there. There we go. Get my light off water so I don't use that electricity. So you can see in the bottom left of my screen, I got my health, my O2, electricity, and hydrogen. You can see my electricity is going down because obviously we're using power tools and lights and a few things like that. Uh, cool, let's go back in here. Let's drop off the stone. Let's grab the motors. Let's grab the girders and we'll need more girders there. You can see it's still producing and it's still producing. Okay, let's go up in the meantime. Let's start building all the stuff. So up we go. Okay, so now we need the construction comps. Okay, 
There we go. Jump back in here. All right, and we'll just wait for the rest of it to come in. So we need that and that. Sure. Okay, let's go and see if we can build this at least to the functional level. There we go. So now we should be producing power. Cool. Fantastic. So we're producing some power on here. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to need next is we're going to need um, a assembler so we can build more things or we'll need a refinery. Now, refinery will produce or mine down our stuff a little bit quicker in comparison to our survival block. Uh, and you can also join these things together. You can see the on the side here, they've got these yellow things. These are like ports to connect your inventory up together. Kind of like a uh, scrap mechanic, how that works. So, I mean, we could put this here and then connect another one up together. So we could put, oh, this has got a port on either side. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's put this maybe here. And then we will need our, what's this? Let's see, this is our assembly unit. Now the assembly unit has got a port. There it is there. Okay, so we're going to put that over there. So when I do build that, those two things will join up together and they can use the same inventory, uh, which is perfect. And this has got another port on that side. So we want to connect maybe like a inventory box or something. Do we have one of those? Or how much are they? Small cargo container, that one there. That's what I'd probably like. Uh, and that is no big one there we go and you can see that's got ports on all sides so that can actually go there perfectly oh what do i need for that why can't i place it uh you need an interior plates okay so i need interior plates to place that down all right let's get uh working on these guys so these guys need steel plates and steel plates okay so we just need a whole bunch of steel plates so let's go into our survival kits and let's queue up some, let's get rid of those. Let's queue up our steel plates, a hundred, sure. And let's go start mining. So I'm gonna mine and put all the stuff there and I'll meet you guys back once we've done some mining. All right, so I've been mining quite a bit now. I've just been throwing in stuff here and just producing our, our actual gravel, nickel, and those kinds of things. And so while the steel plates are currently producing themselves, what I'm thinking of doing is just taking a quick little flight and just seeing if we can find any resources on the surface, maybe some iron uh, or anything like that that we can find that's going to help us instead of going through all the stone here. So I'm just going to go to jetpack mode uh, and let's go to third person maybe and let's just scroll out here. Let's just see if we can see anything on the surface here. I don't see anything. Oh, what's that? Just trees. All right. Uh, let's just keep on going. Now I have got some bottles of hydrogen on me so i mean we should be fine to do this for a bit now i can see there's a whole bunch of these patches here so i'm quite interested to see what is down here let me just go out of third person and i am on the ground perfect so oh hold on there's an unknown signal 2.7 kilometers away from me what's that let's go hello let's go to that we'll come back to this area we do know where our base is you can see on our map it is marked respawn pod so I don't have to worry about that. So let's carry on going through. I'm going to take my light off. 1.5 Ks away. What's this unknown signal? Let's go and find out what this is. Start staying down. We're also doing a little bit of exploring at the same time. Because there's just trees up here. All right, so what's that? Something buzzing on our map. Okay, let's take our jetpack off. What is this thing? K to set up panel. Uh, try your luck to get a new special item. All right. Uh, car welder. Visit the medical room to change your parents. Okay, interesting. And then is there, this is a container. So I can open it. Okay, cool. So that's got some space credits in it. Uh, it's got a enhanced hand drill. Okay, not going to complain. And some interior plates. Nice. All right. I mean, I'm definitely not going to complain though. And G, now I should be able to switch my tools. Yes, enhanced handle. Great, look at that. And now I should also be able to grind all this down and steal it. Free stuff. Yep, there we go. So that's all done. Let's go back to our base and just have a look around while we're here. Don't see much. All right. Let's go back down to our base. I'm keeping an eye out for any minerals on the surface. 
don't see anything let's get ourselves straight i'm still interested to see what all these gray things are so i just want to go a little bit closer now apparently we should see some things come up on the map if we get close to them so maybe if i start digging here it will be like oh there's an iron deposit here or something i don't know let's uh let's just do a little bit of digging here it's gonna go straight down and see what happens oh silver hold on silver is 20 20 meters away okay let's keep on doing that then we'll get to silver grab some silver in a few minutes uh we'll have to come back for it of course because we don't have any more space in our inventory but i mean sure free silver not gonna say no 15 meters we're just doing i'm doing like a little bit of oh and we got what's this stuff stone okay so that looks like some nice good stone okay i'm not gonna complain about that uh let's go down i want to get down to that silver yes silver ore nice that should go i don't know what we can produce with it but i mean that should be pretty good shouldn't it and we're gonna mine some of this i can't as once again i can't pick any of this up because i don't have any space but i mean i'm gonna mine it i'm gonna say no we'll leave it down here we'll come back to it in a few minutes all right this should hopefully once we get our refinery built and that it should help us build some cool things that we might need in the future uh cool so this is our thing this is our little tunnel to get out i wonder if it's too steep oh no it looks all right we've got rock there it's quite a big tunnel <laughs> isn't it we might want to build some type of thing in the future get out of there quick a little bit easier all right uh let's go back to our pod so i'm going to use the jetpack to get the quick me and we'll come back and grab the silver later should also mark that on my map shouldn't i we'll think about that later cool let's go down here slow down oops i should have slowed down. <laughs> i should have slowed down okay let's uh i need to heal myself a little bit you can heal yourself on this this uh, f is to heal and to recharge we're going to do both of those things And maybe refill my H2O bottles if I can do that too. It's I. What's left on my bottle? 46%. And then there we go. So now it's 100%. It's used the ice to reproduce that. Cool. Uh, let's jump in here. Let's get rid of anything else I don't need. So stone I don't want. Uh, I do want the steel plates though. And I've got a whole bunch of other things like scrap metal and like radio comms and things like that. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but... All right, uh, let's go and build these two things. Let's go and start building this stuff. Okay, so we need steel plates. This is just gonna build. We're gonna run out of, we need uh, construction comps. We need 31, okay, so let's start building that. Uh, construction computers, 31, so one, two, three, one. Okay, so that's building. That's building. We need to give it more stone, don't we? Okay. All right. Uh, let me go and grind away at some more rock here, and I'll meet you guys back once I'm done. All right. So with a lot of mining done, we are on the last motor, which should be in theory the last thing that we need to finish off building everything. So I mean, let's put everything into our inventory here if we can fit it. Uh, yep, that's pretty much everything. Let's see, now it's just producing gravel. All right, I mean, it gets... Uh, cool, let's go and build. So, welding torch, let's finish this guy. There we go. And let's go and build this guy, at least up to functional. Should have everything. You can see that I've got 10, 10, 10, 20, etc. So, we should be good with that. So, what this will allow me to do is hopefully refine things quicker and more things. And then this will allow me to produce different items. So, let's go and have a look at this. And I, and then that gives us in access to the assembler, which is over here. And now we can build bulletproof glass. All the same things as before. We can also do a power cell. Medical stuff. Tubes. Okay, I don't know what any of these things are used for, but I mean, we're going to find out. I think power cells are for batteries. Um, radio, maybe to build a radio. Okay, so cool. Uh, and then we can add stuff in here and if I'm correct it just automatically starts refining stuff down for us in the refinery I mean we can test that uh, let's go and see if we can hold on first things first is can I build an inventory uh, where is it small card container nine can I build one of those I'd love to build one here yes I can and then what do I need for it oh, wow I need quite a lot of things interior plates constructions metal grids steel tubes 
motors. I need a lot of things actually for that. Okay, let's leave that for now. I can still access that, which is great. There is another unknown single uh, signal there that we can go to. But what I'm thinking is let's go and use my hydrogen to go over to that steel ore that I found or iron, whatever else I found earlier on. I want to go over there. I think it's over here where I found it earlier. I mean, I can also go to that unknown signal, couldn't I, on the way? Yeah, I think that is here is where I made the hole earlier, somewhere around here. There's also some rock. What's this? What is this stuff? What are you? Is this a regular stone? What's that? Oh, is iron ore in this? Ooh, okay, I mean, we're gonna definitely grab this stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now I want to mark some of my maps. I think you can come here in GPS and you can do new from current position and then we can do here and I can say iron. Iron ore. Cool. And that should now be on my map if I'm correct. Uh, let's just carry on digging. Cool. Let's dig all this stuff out steal as much iron as I can from this. We'll have to come back to this at a later stage. But, uh, this is perfect. So, unknown signal is very close to us. I mean, I want, I think, let's grab some of this stuff. We'll drop it back in our refinery. Okay, cool. There's quite a bit of stuff here. Let's grab all of this. Uh, inventory is already full. You can see all the stuff riding away, actually, which is quite unfortunate, but... Thing I can really do. Okay, let's go back to the respawn pod. So, I mean, what's that X? Yeah. Let's go back. I'm just gonna shift and fly here all the way through. Don't mind the trees. And we're gonna start slowing down in a few seconds. Okay. Uh, I think I've got a refuel. Ah, oh, I didn't grab. Oops. I'm gonna die. No, slow down. Slow down. Okay, well, there's my first accident of, <laughs> of this. Um, I've got hydrogen on me, so now I can fly back to my buddy. I mean, I think we we're going too fast, and I just couldn't stop. <laughs> it's nice we've got a respawn base. That is quite useful. And we come to here, which is I, and we can just drop that in there. And then that should just automatically start dropping this stuff in. Oh, that's cool. Uh, everything else I'm happy with. Uh, cool. All right. Let's go and grab some more iron ore, I guess. Uh, whoa, well, one thing I do want to do, I was going to grab that bottle, don't I? Uh, yes, there we go. Grab that so I don't run out of hydrogen on the way. Cool. Let's go and grab some more iron. And I'm going to bring do a couple runs, and then I'll meet you guys back once I'm done with that. All right, so I've done a couple runs with the iron ore. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find that location where I was mining the steel. I think it was steel, if I'm correct. What is that? That looks like something. Uh, let's go. Oh, health is low, that's fine. Is that stone? And then behind it, what is that behind it? Silicone. Mm, okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no to any of that. So we'll grab the silicone from here. Hopefully it doesn't all run away. Uh, Alright, let's go back to base. Uh, let's see if we can build the rest of the stuff that I need. Or to build that uh, cargo container, which I think we should have enough of everything. I would like to find that tunnel that I built earlier. I don't know where it is, actually. All right, let's go back to base here. Let's drop all the stuff in the refinery, which is currently automatically refining everything for me, unlike the survival pod. Okay, let's go that off. Let's go in here. Let's drop silicon in there, stone in there. What do we have? Okay, production. What do we want? We would like... Oh, wait, do I not have power? Hmm. So, I wonder if we've got enough power. Max output, 357. Current output, 331. Wind clearance, good. Does that mean I have enough... I think I've got enough power. If I need to build another wind turbine, I can. We just need to now build the small cargo container. And to do that, I will need interior plates. So I need six interior plates. So let's queue that up. So production interior plates. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, well, that's very quick. Uh, what else do we need? We need 35 construction comps. Okay. 35 construction comps. There we go. So that should be enough. Uh, what else do we need? Four metal grids. Now, can I make metal grids? Is the question. I can. So I need one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, what else do I need? I need cobalt. Don't know where I'm going to get cobalt, cobalt from, but we'll figure it out. So, I mean, we should be able to find some cobalt maybe on the surface somewhere. Hmm. I don't think you can mine it normally. Let's go and have another little, little fly around with our lights on. Uh, let's just see if we can find something on the surface somewhere. Oh, wait. Okay, there's, there's two rocks here, but let's go and find out what's happening on these guys uh so that off nickel okay that's great so let's mark this on my map that's i gps uh let's do new current position and this is nickel all right and that's cool and that's marked and then what's this guy okay let's go and find out this is silicone okay let's mark that on my map too so that's i gps Yes, I. Cool. Uh, let's go. Is there anything else around me? Wonder. Getting lucky all of a sudden. So, there's something over there. Maybe that's the one I was at. There's also something there. These are the guys that I was at earlier. Let's find out. What's this? Nickel again. All right, let's mark that on the map. Oh, magnesium. I haven't used. Okay, well, let's mark that on the map just in case we need that later on. So, new position, and this is MG. All right, um, let's carry on through. Anything else while we're flying around? Okay, that thing just landed. All right, what is it? What is this? Can you stop rolling? What do we get? Didn't find anything. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can just, I mean, tear it down. We can probably get some stuff from it. There's a light there. Get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. Cool. Um, we are quite far from base now. I'm just going to do a little bit of a loop here. Just hoping I can find some cobalt somewhere. Um, so metal grids is currently the thing that I'm missing. And we need cobalt. So that's the next thing I'm going to try and find. I mean, yeah. Cobalt's the next thing I want to try and find uh, here in the world somewhere. But I mean, we're not doing bad, too bad at the moment. I mean, we've got the basic assembler, we've got the refinery. The next thing we need to think about is maybe mining quicker uh, and maybe getting around the world. So I want to try and get that ship working. And to do that, we're going to need some way to fly it. It does have, it does have the, if you can see, it's got like rocket boosters, whatever these things are, thrusters. It's got these on them. Yeah, thrusters. So we've already got four, so that would be allow us to go up and down. We just need something to go forwards, backwards, and left and right. So we'll need at least something like another four. So what do we need to build those? Let's go and find out. So we need some way to control the ship. We can actually probably even get a battery soon. Interior walls. I don't see anything like that. okay, progression. Hold on. Now, oh, okay, let's figure all this out. So you actually progress and you unlock stuff. So where's the stuff to drive a ship? Guessing it's by... Okay, there's a whole bunch of things. Okay, here we go. Passenger seats. We don't want that. We want a cockpit, I think. Or control station. So we need that. And in order to get this, what do we need to unlock? So I think we just need the large magnetic plate. So do we, do we currently have that? Let's just go into the inventory here. So I've got... Where's my landing gear? There we go. Landing gear is here. Uh, so let's grab the plates and then I think if I what drag it in there and then nine and then nine again There we go. So if I was to place that down and then Do I need to build that completely and then it should unlock So then that should have unlocked it. So if I go back to G and go back to progression Let's find out if that's unlocked it. Oh, it has okay cool so now we have access to control stations and cockpits. I mean, let's use a cockpit. Oh, why not? So cockpits there. I'm just going to delete this. 
Don't want it. All right, so let's go here and let's see. So we could place this. Okay, so you can actually place this. For example, we could place this here or even on top. So you could place that like here. We could delete some of these blocks to place it in. Right, okay. Cool. Well, guys, um, I think that's probably a great place to end this first episode. Or with, I mean, we've we've done quite a bit. We built a little bit of our base up. Um, learned to quite a lot. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm still a complete beginner slash noob here at this game, and I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, this is really different from Stormworks. Very, very different, and I think it's got a big learning curve. But I mean, it's it's fun and it's it's manageable and looks really cool. I mean, I can't imagine building huge ships, uh, but the survival series are great. I think a great way to learn how the game works. Another signal just came in there. But yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see some more videos like this, uh, checking out new games. And also if you are interested in seeing uh, some more of the survival series here in Space Engineers. Guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until the next one, we will see you then.